From felonies to films, tonight Christine Devine profiles ex-gang members who have turned their lives around and are breaking into Hollywood big time. Emilio Rivera isn't a gangbanger any longer. Now he just plays one on TV. I've done over 60 movie TV, TV shows and movies, and I'm always a bad guy. Manuel Jimenez has also turned things around after 13 years in gangs, committing crimes he now regrets. I just regret just doing bad things to people. It's just a whole other world. It's an ugly world. I don't regret who I am, though, and that's what made me. Now he's living his dream. I said, I'm going to go to Hollywood and do my thing, and I've been doing it for five years. Jimenez is the owner of Suspect Entertainment, an agency that finds acting work for former gangbangers, and business is booming. We had a guy in training day in the Wild Guglielmi, Bruce Almighty, Charlie's Angels, a lot of independent movies. Everything we learned in the neighborhood, Hollywood's making money off it now. We got to get a piece of that. Cause the boys are always hard. Each of these tattooed toughs managed to turn his life around, and each recalls the exact moment it happened. What, everything was getting old. After a while, doing the same thing, you know, after a while, gang banging, getting high and all that, it just gets old. I'm just was like, just praying hard, the hardest I ever prayed in my life. From that point on, I did everything that I was promised, I did it. I, I got a job, I left the neighborhood, and I just straight cold turkey, just quit. I never looked back. As a former member of the Frogtown gang, Emilio Rivera had hit rock bottom. And I tried to kill my wife and kids, man. The main thing that took me down was, uh, was a crack cocaine, man. He entered rehab, exchanging a life of crime for star-turning roles in such films as High Crimes and Road Dogs. Jack, man, the you guy know that and you know that. But that's the room where the guy started, and it makes Gramps look weak. 13 years sober, he's now on Hollywood's A-list when it comes to playing bad boys. You can't teach what I learned in the speech. You dig what I'm saying? I, I learned from life. That's why I play when I play my roles, I play them for real, because I've seen it, man. When Manuel Jimenez went legit, he took a day job at Toys R Us while being schooled by Jay Leno at night. I would come home watching Jay Leno every night. I would watch Jay Leno, seeing him interview Robert Duvall. Quentin Tarantino just straight out one day said, oh, Hollywood takes anybody. He, I don't know how he said it, but he just said, Hollywood doesn't care if you've been in jail. The light bulb went on. I was like, oh, that's it, I'm going to Hollywood. With the launching of his year-old agency, he's taking as many homies along for the ride as he can. I want to see in the future, I want to see us all, every single one of us producing and directing and controlling our own project. Here, man, you got guys, 50 different guys from about 20 different neighborhoods, and everybody's getting along, man, because we're all doing something positive, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Christine Devine, Fox 11 News.